Alright, welcome everybody to another JPN gear review here. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I take on my paintball outings, my loadout. Alright? First off, I'm going to start with my helmet. It's uh, this plastic helmet, you know, it's got support straps on the inside. I got it at a local retailer, this is a surplus store, and uh, I customized it myself. Like, I painted it because it was a brighter kind of army man toy green, but that made this darker olive color. It wasn't like really OD, but it's a lot darker than it was before. It used to be kind of glossy, but now it's kind of still shiny, but it's a lot darker. On camera it looks a little bit different. Um, I put these Velcro patches on it, and these are, these are the reverse of what is on normal Velcro patches. So it will accept other patches, you know. So I got those all over it, so I can put like rank and blood type on there. This little cool features, but I do not have any patches like that. So I still gotta get me some of those. I got my flag patch here, but it's not a verse one because it's on my left side. Like if I wear it like that on here, it's on my right. But uh, it'll just work. Until then, because I'm not, it's not a huge deal. That's not my right side, but I need to get a reversed one so I can, you know, be proper and appropriate. Next, I'll move over to my gun. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to mention this is based off the PASGT helmets. That's what it's based off of. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, back to my gun. This is a Tipman Project Salvo. You might be familiar with this gun, you might not be. Uh, Tipman, in general, makes awesome paintball guns, especially simulated like woods ball guns. They like to make realistic looking uh, paintball markers. The Project Salvo is probably one of their best ones they did this with. Uh, I'm trying to get the whole gun here. Okay. I'm going to compare this to the Alpha Black because it is its most like gun compared to it. The Alpha Black, uh, it does not have these rails, it just has a handguard, and then it has a carrying handle, so it doesn't have these top rails either. And this has quick, like you can just uh, take these sights off, the back and the front sight, which I took off already, for, I can put an optic on there, and it has a different stock even. The Alpha Black is lighter than the Project Salvo, I'm not sure how. But Project Salvo is, you can really notice the difference in weight. I put, well, it already comes with this, but, you know, you put your Allen wrenches in the fake mag so you can change up velocity and all that. And because uh, of the rails, you can put, you know, all kinds of attachments on there. I have a lot of attachments I can put on it, but uh, I have a MEP Smith Lesson 1522, and all the attachments pretty much go to that because, you know, that's a real gun. And besides, this is already kind of heavy, and when I go to paintball, you know, I want I want light stuff. So I just have it all stripped down pretty much to its bare minimum rear sight. And I tried putting an uh, aim point sight on it, but when you have a mask, you can't really see the reticle, so it's hard to aim, uh, use it properly at all. So I just took that off. It's Until I get a rail razor, I will uh, not have an aim point on here. Any point site, what I mean by that, it's it's like a red dot, but it has like some zoom to it. It's red dot or green dot. <coughs> that gun's pretty good. It's never even gave me a problem, so I would I would recommend this gun. It's pretty good. It's just a little bit heavier than the Alpha Black. Alright, now to my vest, my loadout, my gear. Okay, I'll just start off with the actual vest itself. It's a Condor, OE Tech, whatever you want to call it, they're both the same thing. Condor is just like an airsoft paintball supplier for OE Tech, I guess. I don't know, something found, heard something about that on Airsoft GI, but then I got this admin pouch. I keep paper in there, napkins, whatever. Keep napkins in there just in case of fog, you know, wipe off your mask. Pins, markers in there, and then I got my custom patch. It's just, I made that myself. Ninja Turtles. I got me a triple mag thing. Uh, you can hold 120s or 100s. 100s, they fit in there perfectly, you know, so there's nothing sticking out. 120s stick out, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half. 
And they're kind of, you know, more high profile, but I don't know, extra ammo is always good, you know, if you want more ammo, but you, you know, use up that space. Whatever you want to do. Uh, utility, I got, I, this is symmetrical load. I got utility on each side here. In this, I keep a radio, but I don't have it on me because I broke it on my last paintball outing, but I just have, I just put a radio in that pouch and antenna sticks out the side. On these little side pockets here, I keep lens cleaner. You know, this little, like, drop things, pour on the lens and it gets rid of, you know, anything, dirt, fog, dust. It keeps it nice and clean. Uh, I recommend that. That's pretty good to have around in this case, you know, you actually do get hit in the mask, get the paint off real quick. JT Tactical Gloves. They're open finger, but I ran these gloves through. Uh, it just adds extra protection, more protection on those areas. And they're pretty good, but... They're yellow right there. It's not good at all. I have to find a way to cover those up usually. But uh, I do. I found out that they do have like blue and red instead of this bright yellow. It would be darker, you know, probably for that very reason that that's not a real tactical color. In this pouch, I keep a multi-tool just for whatever. Whatever you need a multi-tool for. If I can get it out of the thing with one hand. Uh, it's got a bunch of crap on it. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go into detail about it, though. Just hit you some too. Alright, on my back. Wait, I almost forgot. I have a pocket knife I run. This is just a black, I think it's Remington, yeah. Tac knife. Tac Series 1 knife. Uh, you know, you don't really need a pocket knife to kill anybody in paintball. You just use it like to open up a box of paint or whatever. I like it because it's really lightweight. See all those holes through it? That just takes off like, I don't know, a lot of weight. I haven't weighed it. Probably doesn't even weigh like one pound. Extremely lightweight. That's what you look for. If you get a knife, you know, you want lightweight. Anything tactical wise, you want it to be lightweight. The lighter the better. On the back, I run, I just run two sustainments, one bigger than the other. The bomb sustainment, I run my. Uh, actual tank, my 20 ounce, and I run the coil through the back, so I can just keep that down there. And also my hydration, like a couple of water bottles or whatever, because I do not have an actual hydration carrier. I just carry the bottles on me, and I do not put, you know, anything in my canteen pouches, because I'm already using those for, like, utility pouches. And my uh, top one here, I carry my spare gas, which is, like, a 9 ounce, or, like, a snack, like a candy bar or something. But that's pretty much all I carry. Oh yeah, inside I, I roam like foam plates, just to kind of like simulate some rigidness to it, you know, holds it better. It's pretty good. Little system. Uh, that's just what I run. I won't show you my mask because it's nothing fancy, but it's just a normal mask. Okay, hope to show you guys more stuff later. Please comment, tell me how I'm doing. I know I say oh a lot. Uh, if you have anything else you want to you know, see that I got, I mean, I got a bunch of guns here. I can do reviews on, just tell me. Uh, please comment. See you guys later.